What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Dark Green Poop back again to watch season three, episode eight of Golden Kamui. Uh, as you guys can see, it is another after after work <laughs> reaction type of type of day. Um, yesterday I did have time to do Golden Kamui, but um, uh, I don't know, like. I don't know what it's been. Uh, I'm not really sure myself, but I feel like sometimes I get into like these these funks. Uh, I guess like that's the that's the best way I could describe it. Where uh, not that I'm not really like motivated to watch, but it's just like I'd rather just be doing something else. Like that's why uh, I guess it's kind of like um, I've described it before as like being in the anime mood because there's been times before I did reactions that. I just don't really feel like watching anime and then I just wouldn't watch anime for like six months, seven months, right? Like, I just kind of fall off. Like, am I feeling that now? No. Um, but I feel like it's something like similar. Maybe um, maybe it's been like, because in Canada, it's been kind of, um, it's been raining the past couple of days. So maybe it's been like making me feel like this. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know just... Uh, just so you know where my head is at and maybe if I feel it or if I seem a bit off or like seem like I'm not really like paying attention or whatever that that might be it I like I do like the show I love I love the show I love anime in general it's just I don't know it's just the way I've been like I've also been distracted with basketball stuff um sorry I, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a thumbnail I mean a thumbnail I'm gonna put a timestamp so you guys could just skip over this but I just want you guys to know where my headspace is at so um it's not just like <clears throat> or it's not just like I'm I'm acting weird all of a sudden and you don't really know why <laughs> yeah so it's just I don't know how to describe it it's just like a weird funk maybe you guys could um maybe you guys could relate uh or or not <laughs> I guess but yeah I mean it's not like um it's not like it's uh brutal for me to watch Golden Kamui or like anime in general it's just um yeah sometimes I just don't really feel like it and I'm just I, like yesterday I spent the time that I would have been watching anime I was just watching basketball highlights because basketball is starting today <laughs> actually so that's why uh, I just felt like I wanted to do that more than watch um then watch anime but anyways yeah it's just uh it's just the headspace i'm at just wanted to let you guys know i still love going kamui and also uh before i start this episode i wanted to say that um i read your guys's comments but i just completely forgot to reply to them like uh i thought i did reply to them but then i thought back and i was just like oh wait i didn't reply to any of those i, I just read them <laughs> so after this episode i will reply to you guys don't worry about it um yeah but i'm just doing this reaction i just I, I thought about it on the way home i'm just like wait did i reply oh wait no i didn't <laughs> what the hell <laughs> but yeah uh anyways guys let's just get this episode started golden kamui uh wait sorry checking my audio double checking my audio i checked it earlier but just double checking all right cool everything's good give you guys a countdown three two one go but yeah i'm i'm sure i'm sure a lot of you can relate to to mental hospital so what are these are these the fakes or are these the uh, desire to break codes i'm able to function in daily life so i decided that until we had a certain amount of the skins we shouldn't even start mm, okay but with this many so these are the real ones no it's hard to believe he'd use the kind of complex code that would require a professional cryptographer he made it something that his daughter Sherbert can decrypt, I'm sure. Mm, they're talking about Wilk. I didn't know who they were talking about here. Mm, okay, now they're... Interesting. We didn't see this the first one, the first time. You can get by, by fine without letters. You think so too, right? So, so there's it's something with the circles. Why would, no, why, why would we tell Koito though? Uh oh, yeah, he, that, he's the only one that knows. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, he's the only one that knows because, uh, that was the very first, um, that was the very first encounter with a with a tattoo, right? So, 
Sugimoto has an advantage. We didn't know about this because it didn't really show the first episode, right? Uh, well, the yeah, this I would assume like the first two episodes, if I remember correctly, that um we got that guy's tattoo. But anyways, um yeah, last episode we got that lighthouse. Uh, we got Svetlana's introduction or story introduction, I guess. And we also got um, character introduction to Kiraranke's, um Oh wait, I could watch the intro now. Oh crap! I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the intro um, uh, after after because I want to watch it from the very beginning, right? I I completely forgot, guys. My bad. <laughs> Again, I have just been I've just been completely like I feel like my head's been like su super spacey uh, recently. I don't know what it is. It, it might be the weather, man. It might be the gloominess. I don't know, but um. Yeah, then we got introduced to Sophia Golden Golden Arm, Golden Hand, Golden something. <laughs> uh and who is Kiraranke's um ally essentially, a Russian ally. And yes, I saw the guys uh I haven't replied yet, but I saw in the comments that uh he's not half Russian, he's half something else, but they're not pure Ainu. But it's not Russian also. I will go back to the comment. And and reply to it, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> I can carry even more. You're so strong. Ooh, so good, no? <laughs> so good. Yeah, what is that? It looks like. It looks like a ring. Can't, no, not really. Part of a plant. Yeah, what the heck is that? In a room in Abashiri Prison. To Inudu shows his information with the tattooed prisoner's door Chinzo had it on him. All right, and I I also remember a comment when uh, one of you uh told me everyone's first name. I'm hundred percent. I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember them. I'm just you you know who I'm talking about with the last names. <laughs> it might be confusing because you know some people have the same last names. Anyways, enough talking. I missed a lot last episode because I was talking too much and I was distracted they swarm the coast of Kushiro this time of year you Kushiro I don't, don't fish for them normally but my kotan is starving now oh, so that, that's not their usual food <laughs> oh my nice Rengoku do you know what this is hmm okay so this was in the prison it's from Etuprika or Pirka Seabird whose name means beautiful beak in Ainu. This is the beak. Oh, a beak of a bird? To attract the opposite sex. After their breeding season ends, it falls off. <clears throat> Don't hunt Itupirka. Itupirka. Shishawa can only be caught on the Pacific side of Hokkaido. In the same way, Itupirka can only be found. Nemuro. Kirawas, what do you think goes to the Nemuro Ainu? We'll pay. Okay, so we're, we're following. Yeah, we're following this squad now. You should be able him to walk. Do I still have to be careful? Um, this. In Kyoto, many years in Kyoto. Juno the Manslayer, the man who killed many important people in the last days of the Shogunate. Wait, I know that name, right? Sorry, guys. Again, my head is super spacey. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm mixing a lot of other animes too. I need to decrease the amount of animes I'm watching. I'm getting a lot of information confused. So what what backstory is this? Move out of the way. What did you say? Sorry, I'm sorry guys. I'm yeah, I'm just trying to figure out it makes me sick. So the this isn't a backstory. It's the guy that they were talking about. Why is he wearing Ainu clothes anyway? Cuz he was saying he's older than him, right?
you have a home or family? Hmm. I don't know what to make of this guy. I'm yeah, I'm just waiting this out. What's your name? I don't even remember. This is the fake name guy. Call up the job. Warden Unudo is dead. Even if you kill Yuchiro the Manslayer, there'll be nobody to give him to. Oh, that's his name, Yuchiro the Manslayer. Families of the people he killed at the end of the Shogunate. We're not going home empty handed after coming all the way here. Only you can ID his face. Oh, shoot. Are they going to recruit him? He's a Manslayer for a reason. Mr. Shizu going to recruit him. Well, not the only guy who he's been ordered to find him. Families of the men he's killed have sent other fa assassins. Yo, it's going to be a witch hunt. Oh, oh no, I, th I was like, that's him. <laughs> it's not him. The village leader knows the Japanese man named Doi Shinzo. He says he lived in the Kotan. So Yuchiro the Manslayer went to Namuro then. Yuchiro the Manslayer came to this Kotan 30 years ago and married an Ainu woman. He lived in peace in this village. By eight years ago, a Japanese man with a grudge against him came and took his wife hostage. He killed a man to get his wife back and was sent to Abashiri prison. But when he found out his wife was sick and had little time left to live, he escaped. Oh, so this is him. But this guy's gonna be nuts. He left this guy and now works at a nearby fishery. No, like nuts in a way, like his strength. I feel like he's going to be like super strong. You went to bed this morning. Uh, they think he's senile. It's kind of like um, if you guys watched, uh, I feel like a lot of people have seen it. Like, what are you? And then he died. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, squid game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen squid game by now, but I feel like... Uh, no spoilers. But let's just say that wetting the bed could be a form of deceit. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Alright. We're going to I didn't unmute, I thought I did before. I no longer know when it's time to die. So wait, he's he's that scene. So Toshizo isn't gonna... I'm the rock. I'm not sure if he's acting. I feel like he is. There's no way. There's no way that everybody's looking for this guy and he's just going to be like senile. He's right there. There, that old man. Oh, GG. Here, we're going to see it. We're going to see it. Sorry, guys, my back's a cheat. Oh. Okay. Yo. Here we go. I'm just waiting for it. Yuichiro the Manslayer. So we're getting the man Yuichiro the Manslayer now. Yeah, shut the hell up. Am I watching the right episode? Has the tattoos from Oshiro on his upper body. Oh, so he's a tattoo guy. Yo. Here we go. We're getting so now we got introduced to another tattoo. Do you remember when you killed Ikeda Magushichiro? This is vengeance for my father. Oh, so apologize, yo, yo. This is gonna be a mistake. This is gonna be a mistake. his eye twitched. Oh, Get in line. Lots of people want to kill Yuchiro the Manslayer. 
Yo, wait, what, what did he do there? What was that reflection thing? Oh. There's other people. Yep, there he is. They're bad. It's, man, this, this is a crew of old men. I'm at the head of the line. Oh, so he's seeing from the past. Vice Commander of the... Toshizo. Vice Commander of the Shinsen. Yo! That's a young Toshizo. So I guess he's just like seeing them as they are young. Because he still feels young, maybe? So he's just kind of like living in the past. So he doesn't really feel old. <laughs> See, look. Yo, he's going crazy. So you're alone. Normally you're walking around Kyoto with... Acting like you own the place. Yeah, he's... Oh, okay. So maybe he is going a little... Uh, maybe he's got, like, dementia. <laughs> he sees him as young. <laughs> Yo, Toshizo just shoots. No questions asked. Where is... Uh-oh, Ushiyama. Yeah, later. Yeah, you lose to him. Everybody loses to Ushiyama. Oh. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 no. See, look, see? Yo, that sword is kind of lit. I was going to say lit and sick. <laughs> Came out as lick. <laughs> Yo, this is... <laughs> Divine punishment. Yo. See, so he still thinks he's young. So that... So his, his body being old doesn't affect him. Because it's not really how, how your body is. It's how you feel. Or how old your body is. <laughs> like, you ever see those, like, 70-year-old or 80-year-old, like, people just run a marathon? <laughs> like, you nuts? I can't run that, like, at my at my age now. <laughs> you crazy? My lighting is really weird, guys. Sorry, I don't know what that, that is. I like, I look super, like, shiny. Whoa. That old man was strong as hell. You want to persuade him to join us? He's already what? He's he's gone, right? He's lost it. So she's a nose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, he's already seen now, man. He's got that dementia running through him. The country without discrimination by rank. I believed in you and did all your dirty work. I did this all for you. I was going to say, I wonder if this is how it actually is to be like old, like super old. Yo. Yo, he's literally talking to a deer. The deer Kamui. Toshizo, are you going to free him? Whoa. Whoa, that looks weird. Oh, okay. I didn't know what angle we were looking at, but it's a bird's eye. <laughs> Yo, Toshizo is just walking. This is crazy. Yo, Yui Chi so this is how it is. Well, I'm guessing that this is how the mangaka is depicting how it is to be like in the state of mind when you're older. Like having I guess I'm I'm assuming dementia. Um right, kind of like seeing things. The man's there believed in may have been right. After the Meiji Restoration, Japan modernized to allow it to resist the and defeat both China and Russia. Okay, history lesson. But when the Russo-Japanese War didn't stop Russia's sweep to the south, Japan was no longer able to continue the war any further. So they were given no rep reparations and instead settled Karafuto. 
The Meiji government is nearing its limits. A new method is needed. Hokkaido must become independent to protect the North. Oh, oh. That's not why he. Okay, we must bring immigrants from overseas to make a multicultural nation. I'm still fighting for you. Mmm. We're young because time had stopped. I'm tired. I've lived too long. So, is he coming back to reality? Can he see it now? Can you see him as old now? What happens here? Yo, the music is so like, it's so n good here. Like, what is happening? I took this back from Inudo. Oh, no. I told the bird it's from can only be found in this area. My wife gave it to me so I wouldn't forget Nemuro. I'm going to enter your suffering now. I'm worthy of an easy death. Got so many in the name of Japan and its emperor. I was a tool of the imperial loyalists. I'm told Aino means human. Okay, that's cool. I came to this land and lived as a human. Okay, then I'm the only one who, who could. Is that his wife? That was pretty cool. Very short story, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I feel like it was very confusing. That I feel to die. It was very confusing to me in the beginning because they kind of just dropped his name, and it's hard for me to remember Japanese names, right? I'm not right, Gamushin. But yeah, um, so in the beginning, I was it was kind of hard for me to like trace what they were talking about, especially because it it wasn't a continuation of last episode, which is what I was expecting. So it took me a while to kind of take in the information. I mean, that was a cool story. So he found, he, he had a, he's not, I knew himself. He found a wife, right? I, I, I might need to go back. I was just holding on to it. Oh God, since he has so much stuff. Oh God, whale soup made from white whale meat, potatoes, a sharp as dried Siberian onion. Yuren Su and the miso she stole from Tsukimoto. Man, that's looking like a good like ramen or something. Oh man. Actually, who maybe I might get ramen later today. After well, I still gotta sleep after this, but I might get some ramen for lunch. Has to be Tsukimoto Osoma. <laughs> it's funny how she's so serious about like the like the smallest things. Yo, Ogata. Ogata is starting to is starting to. Hmm. I was gonna say Ogata is starting to Ogata is starting to like. An interview. I don't know. That's not what this is. I was, gonna, I was saying that like Ogata is starting to like dive into the culture a little bit. If they all run, the guards won't be able to focus on Sophia. Okay, so they're gonna try to like what start a riot. By destroying the walls at multiple points. I was thinking more like uh, Avatar Aang, or Last Airbender. 
Destroying the wall is several, several points. What, the lighthouse? This isn't this isn't the lighthouse that that's this isn't the lighthouse that we ran into, right? It's the other one that they built. Or maybe it's just a random one. Yo. I mean, ugh, good story, man. Uh I'm just checking if there's any end scene. I mean, cool story. It was mostly um it was mostly just like a cool backstory, I guess, for um yo yo yoruichi yoruichi the manslayer i was just like what is Yoru, Yoru? i know that he's yoruichi it's hard it's easy to remember that because i feel like i swear there's a bleach character that's yoruichi so it's easy to remember um but yes it was just like this backstory so but i guess the main point of that backstory was just to say that uh toshizo has a tattoo um because I feel like he was trying to recruit him in the beginning, but then when he realized how far gone, um, how far gone, uh, Yoruichi was, he was just like, yeah, I'll just end him. And at least he gave him a little bit of like, of um, like a last, like before he dies, type of satisfaction with the beak, right? Because it helped him remember his wife because he sees his wife i'm guessing this is his wife at the end uh i'm gonna reread this story his backstory because they were talking about him right okay wait. the pay here i wrote the work what did they sorry guys i'm going back and I'm going backwards. I'm not going forward. Where? Who killed many important people in the last days of the Shogunate? There was there was a scene where I'm not sure if I could find it, but they were talking about like um him finding like the village from before, and then his wife was there. All right, that's where he fell in love with someone. What is that to bring Doi Shinzo had it on him? Okay, so Doi Shinzo, which is Yoruichi, had it on him. Doi Shinzo was captured on the east coast of Kushi and imprisoned. I thought this might lead us to him. We're looking for a place to say, okay. So they, they knew about him. And they knew that the name was fake. Kirawas. Kirawas is this. I met him many. Okay, so they're saying that this guy's Yoruichi. Okay, here, this scene. He says he lived in the Kotan. So the manslayer went to Namuro then. Sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry if I took too long here, but I wanted to make sure that I got his story right. He came to... And married an Ainu woman. Okay, so there you go. So he wasn't Ainu himself, but he lived in peace here. But eight years ago, a Japanese man with a grudge against him came and took his wife hostage. He killed the man. Okay, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. All right. Oh, uh, guys, let me watch this intro because I didn't get to watch this intro. But yeah, cool story from Yoruichi. Again, Golden Kumi always has these cool like short stories that you like that they commit an episode to that. It does so much. Anyways, let me just watch this. Yeah, I'll put some intro music for you guys, man. If it gets copyrighted towards the end, then you'll just see me you'll just see me jam out. Okay, so I don't get spoiled here. I wonder what the spoilers were. Yeah, so now Toshizo has another tattoo essentially from Yoruichi's. Or oh, Yoruichi's tattoo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Okay, so it's the dog sledding. 
けど団結。OK、so we got work here. There's no parabo. Uh, I'm not. I don't even remember like episode one. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I like the angle, like the different angles that you get, like the perspective. It's so good, like the camera work. Oh, oh, so you, oh, it's the characters. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, who? Do I go back and analyze it more? But this intro is really cool. I like it. I like the colors. Sick. And obviously, intro is always like, okay. So, okay. Wait, sorry, guys. I want. There was someone with Kiradanke here. Who is this? Oh, that's the um. That's Sophia. Okay, okay, yeah. So it's just the characters, really, because we got everybody's story here. So we got. It shows uh, Vasily. The I mean, this was one of the coolest fights, right? The sniper fight, super, super cool. Um. Okay, so then we get Yoruichi, and then we get uh, Gansoku. Gansoku? I, man, I he's one of... I feel like he's, like, my favorite one, and I forgot his name. Because we only met him, like, so much, and he we didn't really say his name a lot. So it didn't get to be implanted in my brain, but I'm pretty sure it's Gansoku. Okay, cool intro. So there was... Yeah, so there were spoilers. Would I have caught it? Um... Mm, not really. Like, do I really consider them spoilers? N no, because, well, because the characters they leave after, right? They're they're not like someone that. Actually, maybe maybe we see them in the future. I don't know. <laughs> I don't watch this anime, <laughs> or like I haven't seen past this point, right? So maybe we do see Gans uh, Gansoku or Gan Gansoku later in the future. Uh, Yoruichi died. Like I was thinking more of Yoruichi because he dies. So I was just like, ah, it's not really a spoiler because it's more like, it's just like a one episode thing. But still, like, it's still good to be like zero percent, right? You you never know. I never know where my mind will go, uh, seeing these characters. But yeah, again, another cool side story with um with Golden Kamui. Um, it's just I think I've I've said this in the um in the comments before. I like how animes do this. Um. How they have like little short stories that, like like this was uh, this was very similar. I mean, uh, similar in theme to um to Golden Kamui, uh. But there have been episodes where it just seems like a completely different anime. And um, another anime that does that really well um is Bungo Stray Dogs. <laughs> this is my boy. This is my favorite character in Bungo Stray Dogs. I won't say his name just in case you guys haven't seen it yet. But Bungo Stray Dogs is very good at, um, or not very good, but like they also do things like this where they commit a whole episode to, to like, a story or a plot point, and it just feels like a completely different anime. It's it's done so well, and that's why I'm I love it when they do it here in Golden Kamui also. Very cool stuff. It's I described it as like uh the writer like flexing their creative muscles type of thing, right? Like it's just they're like, "Oh yeah," like to the to whoever to the readers like, "Oh yeah, you want to see what else I can do?" type of thing. It's just like and then they just hit you with a with a cool ass story, right? So sick, so sick. Anyways, guys, uh yeah, main main point Toshizo has another tattoo. I think I've said that multiple times, but I just want to reiterate that that is the main thing that I got from this episode. Here, cool, cool story from uh, Yoruichi, but I feel like this long story was just so that the reader knows that um, Toshizo has another tattoo. Which, ah, oh man. And we got a little planning from Surumi in the beginning. But anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, this is a long enough reaction. Um, <laughs> this is the end of the reaction, too. If you like this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. It really help our community grow. And hit that notification bell button so you're notified whenever I upload. Um, actually, I'm, I'm feeling kind of sleepy right now, guys. So I might go to bed. But I will reply in the uh, to the comments after, after I wake up. I mean, after this, I still have to do... Uh, a thumbnail uh, i have to make a thumbnail and upload but uh yeah so i will reply to you guys in the comments um i 
I've read the comments already. I just haven't replied, but I I want I want to give you guys that uh, that dopamine hit. <laughs> Essentially, I've seen your comments, guys. Don't worry, it's not like I ignore you guys. Anyways, it's been your boy Dark Green Pooh, and I'm out this bitch later.